Welcome everyone. So yes, a lot of people saying that the answer for this one would be positive 18. Okay. The first thing what a lot of people get stuck with, this is not a proper square. Neither is this. So here what happens is, see, a lot of people end up doing it this way, minus 27 into minus 12. So negative into negative, we know it, it becomes positive. And 27 can be written as what? 9 into 3. Similarly, 12 can be written as what? 4 into 3. So basically, this becomes what? 9 into 3 into 3 gets you again. 9 into 4. So basically, when you can take things out of your root, it becomes 9 into 2, which gets you 18. And that is incorrect. The reason for that is, whenever you have a negative sign, in under a root, okay, that one very, very important thing you need to remember always, and that would be root of a negative number, okay, root of a negative number, means let's say root of negative 1, we always take it as what i, it's basically an imaginary number, okay, so here, let's put this over here, this becomes what, 27 into negative 1, into 12 into negative 1. Okay, so let's break this. We get this 27 as what? 9 into 3 and 12 can be broken as what? 4 into 3 and then we'll keep the negative ones under a root. Minus 1 into minus 1. Okay, so here what we get is when you take things outside the root, you will get what? 9 and basically what we get is 9. 3 into 3 again gets you 9 into 4. So basically when you take it outside the root, you will get what? 9 into 2. But here we had what? Root of negative 1 and root of negative 1. whose value is what? i into i. So here you get i into i gets you i squared. Now, say, understand, if I wanted to find the value of i square, I just had to square both sides. And from this, I can say i square is got nothing but minus 1. So, basically, you are getting 9 into 2 into minus 1. So, answer comes out to be minus 18. I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next